Hi all, this is Skate, and this video features an E50M Mastery, we've then got a Jaegeru Mastery, and a T57 Mastery. These games are from yesterday and today. As I mentioned before, I usually won't share these sort of replays unless I am specifically doing a video on that tank. However, I need some background footage because there's things we need to talk about. And I recently put up that Camp for Panzer 70 video and a lot of you guys said, yeah, put some more up like it. But the main purpose for this video is to say thank you to you guys. So to start, thank you. Genuinely, massive thanks to all of you. Um, we hit 15,000 subscribers yesterday. I didn't expect that. And what's more shocking than receiving 15,000 subscribers is the fact that I've managed to get a video done in a timely fashion to say thank you. Because I didn't get a video up about 5,000 subscribers until we hit 6,000. And I didn't get a video up about my 10,000 subscribers until we hit 12,000. So, when we hit 15,000 I thought, right, I'm going to make a point of trying to get this done as soon as I can. Because I do want to say thank you to you guys. So, at the time of making this, we are on 15,053. So it's as close as I've ever been to the mark to say thank you. But no, genuinely, it does mean a lot. Um, I don't do this for money. I don't do this for a job. I have massive respect for those who do. But I do this for fun, to take part in the community, to have fun, share the games I enjoy. I mean, 15,000s, I'm genuinely really chuffed with that number. Slightly bemused as to why you've all subscribed as well, but <laughs> that's another story. Um, I started chucking up videos for a laugh. Uh, someone asked me to, I think, once. Uh, I think it was a Death Star video, and that was it. I kind of really enjoyed it from there on out. So thank you all. It's really, really good fun. Um, but I was trying to think, what could we do quickly for the 15,000 subscriber mark? Well, the first thing I would like to do, because a lot of people have said previously about doing it, is a Q&A. So, let's do a QA. and a um, Ask the questions and I'll make a video answering them. Easy as that. But no, seriously, ask in the comment section below a question that you'd like to ask. I'll try and answer as many as I can in a video then. I will probably make a response video. Let's aim for New Year. So there's a couple of days to get a couple of questions in the comment section and I'll answer as many as I can. You have free reign, so... It can be a personal question, game-related question, something completely irrelevant-related question. <laughs> if you're going to ask an inappropriate question, there's a probability I'm not going to be able to answer it in a video. But you never know. <laughs> so, fire away with the questions, guys, honestly. Oh, check out this part of the game, by the way. We're not, um... He's not blocking me. I pulled in front of him, and he was side-scraping off me. And now he's just driven behind the rock. But that was kind of cool, completely random gameplay with another player to side scrape on each other. That's not something you see very often, but this is pretty much the end of the game for me now. The uh, Bat Chat is going to finish me off, so that is end of game for me. And I'm quickly going to speed up the next part of the match because it is a game of chase on the Bat Chat, so it does go on for a little bit. Uh, fair play to this E75 though, he did manage to uh, clip the Bat Chat as it's trying to run past by here. The gun sounds cracking me up on the speed. It sounds like toy tanks. Uh, listen, see if you can hear the gun now. It sounds like a toy tank gun. Hang on. Yeah, I'm a child, I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the end of that game. They did manage to finish off the back chat. I did die, but we did manage to do 5,119 damage before we died. All in all, a very fun game. Not very often do you see solid mediums, pretty much, on either side, except for one or two. So that was a pleasant change. Um, next up is the Jaegeru replay. Um, while that's going on, though, I want to mention Blitzfair quickly. Um, uh, I hate this topic. <laughs> no, I really do hate this topic, seriously now. Um, it was the last video I did before Christmas. And the last video you make before Christmas, you kind of want to be a happy video, or a fun video. Or when you throw 70 quid at a video, you expect it to be a fun video. Not that nonsense. 
I think it's pretty apparent from my video, and more so actually, it's pretty apparent from you guys in the comments section how unhappy people are. There are 800 comments in that video comment section, not one of them is positive. That says pretty much everything that needs to be said as far as I'm concerned. Now we haven't heard anything back from Wargaming as of yet, whether anything will be changed, whether they'll do anything, whether they'll even say anything. They are on Christmas breaks, I imagine. Hopefully we will hear something when they return, I don't know. Only time will tell. Um, what got me more though is I was quite surprised at how many people had even worse situations than me. I mean, there's me thinking, do you know what? 22,000 gold should be more than enough to get me the Chieftain. I kid you not. There are comments in that section, people who have emailed spending over 100,000 gold because they want to, because they want the tank, but nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. That's, it, it's insane, if you ask me. That is insane. And I think the other thing is it's right before Christmas, so... That's a hell of a dampener to slap on Christmas. Uh, genuinely, it is. It, to me, I thought that was just like, ah, great. Yeah, I'm well aware, by the way, it is a game. Um, a lot of us, well, once you get fed up, you just click that off button, don't you? But it's more the fact of you spent so much and you've got nothing to show for it. Nothing. Uh, that's what bugs me the most. And several of you actually commented that, well, if you're being so vocal, Skate... Wargaming are probably going to kick you off the community contributor uh, team. Uh, you lose contributor's title or status or whatever. Um, i got to give credit in that aspect. They're alright with us being honest, because that's the key thing. Uh, you can't really take away someone's honesty, can you? I mean, can you imagine that? Yeah, we've, we've kicked someone from uh, our, our team. Uh, the people who we try to support, who try to support the game, we've kicked them. Why? Well, they didn't say nice things. Well, were they swearing? Were they abusive towards you? No. Um, did they say horrible things about your family? No. Well, why did you kick them? Uh, they gave us feedback and they confirmed for us as a community contributor that, well, the community didn't like something. Well, isn't that pretty much what you expect of this person to tell you what the community does or wants? Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> seriously. That's pretty much what the scenario is. Um, I'm being honest, something's broken, I'm going to say it's broken. Should that scenario come about, well, would you want to be part of that team anyway, if that's the way it is? That you can't say what your opinion is? Uh, I wouldn't, so if I got kicked for being honest and trying to say what I think is wrong with the game, well, I wouldn't want to be part of that team anyway. But, for those who have commented it, I, I don't think that's going to be a situation anyway. But that being said, I do appreciate the concern of those who commented, uh, wondering about that. They commented basically, we don't want you to lose your previews on tanks, etc. Um, honestly, though, if that was the way things were, then I wouldn't be one anyway. Like I said, I'm just talking honest and realistic. And on top of that, I threw 70 quid at it, which, when you look at it in that scenario... And I got that, I think I have every right to be entitled to be angry and annoyed in that circumstance. I, I just like I said before, I couldn't get over the response from you guys as well. How many people were upset with this event. Uh, that just provides all the perspective you need. Anywho, <laughs> this is meant to be a happy video. This is meant to be a, hey, thank you community, we've hit 15,000 subscribers. Not a negative one, and whenever Blitzfair is mentioned, everything goes negative. So... Yeah, I'm just not going to talk about it from now on. We'll see what the future holds when Wargaming gets off holidays, etc. See what, if anything, happens. Um, and then I'll make another video on it. But yeah, that Yeager game, we died again. It was pretty much expected, but we did manage to get one nice shot into the T-30 in exchange for his HE in our face. Which again, we got a nice 5,000 damage gain. And that last shot was enough to get that T-30 down to a very low level for the T-62A to nip around the back and finish him quickly. And then finally, the last game is in the T-57. This is on mines. 
and this is a very eventful battle, so watch this one through. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention as well, um, I've just started a website. It's still in very early days. Um, it's got a very original name, uh, skateextreme.com. Uh, go check it out if you like. Uh, the plan originally was, well, it was as simple as, I hate YouTube playlists. They're a nightmare to find exactly what you're looking for in the playlist. So I thought, ooh, I'll just chuck a quick little website together so I can collate and organize my videos. I can put them all into one place in an easy, organizable, easy to locate format. Because you'd be surprised how many people ask, hey, can you do a video on this? Or have you done a video on this? And I thought, you know what, if they're all in one place like that, they're easy to find, so it made sense. While I was there, though, I thought, well, might as well start expanding on this a little bit. So I thought, I'll add a news section and a blog section. And anything new which comes to the game, I'm going to make a point of making a news article about it and slamming it up on that website as quick as I can. That way... I know that news is always going to be as up-to-date as possible on it. And, you know it's always going to be honest news. <laughs> you can't say it won't be. Uh, so yeah, I recommend going to check that out. It's got all the videos, nearly all the videos collated on that site. So go check it out, and if you do like it, on the right-hand side, if you're using a PC or tablet, there should be a follow me button. If not, it's right down the bottom of the page in the footer. Click the follow, and then enter your email address. And then quite simply, any time a new news article goes up, you'll get an email notification. That's it. You won't get bombarded with emails. Your email will not be shared anywhere. Anything to that effect. All that happens is you'll get an automatic email to say, there's news out. That's it. So if anything, you don't even have to go check the Blitz portal or anything like that anymore. Hopefully, if I can keep it up to date, which I have every intention on doing... You'll just get an email with it all in directly, which is brilliant. So if you're interested, make sure you hit that follow button. It'll certainly make life easier. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I have nothing else to ramble about. Actually, no. I have a million and one things I could ramble about. But I'm going to refrain from doing it all in one video. <laughs> it's a little bit too excessive. Um... These masteries, though, they all had one thing in common, uh, just to point out. The E50 video, I died. The Jaegeru video, I died. Can you see a trend? What do you think is going to happen in the T57 video? Yeah, you'll have to wait and see. Keep watching. <laughs> uh, he got a good shot into the side of my tank, but he's got a long old reload, and now I have several shots I can fire into him. And if we go up the hill a little bit, his front armor means absolutely nothing. And we can just shoot on down. However, I am in a very, very dire low health situation right now. Now, the IS-7 is also on very, very low health. I could go running down to try and help that Jaegeru. However, in the situation I'm in, the circumstance I'm in, if I go flying across there to take one shot into that IS-7... I'm just going to get nailed from the left-hand side. Plus, I have no idea where the enemy E50 is. So, looking at that guy's health and my clip size, I thought I would go for it and see if I can clip him and finish him off. And we do manage to, which now puts us... We were in a 3 versus 1. Only just, I think. But now this is a 2 on 1. Again, i got no idea where the E50 is. And you'll notice it's the first time I've loaded heat. And I'm going looking for the IS-7 ever so carefully. But oh, there he is. <laughs> no, this one's a loss. <laughs> now, I had five kills. So if I finished those last two off, that would have been a Rasenai with very high damage. So that's 6,695 damage, and it's a tier 10 game, and we made 47,000 credits. So yeah, the last one, heartbreaking loss. That had the potential to be something huge, but it's my own fault. I should have been a lot more cautious. And I don't mind, because it was still a very good game. It was still very good fun. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, so yeah, ask questions away in the comments section. We'll get a video done for that and we'll see what else we can organize for this 
um, mark or for the 15k mark. Uh, again, though, massive thank you to you all. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.